comedy, comedy. Nast! Then I was washing my hands, singing happy birthday. Because I learned from a white lady that in order to kill germs in a public bathroom, you have to sing happy birthday twice. Why germs that hate that song, I don't know. <laughs> but they hate it, they die when you sing it. So I am like an idiot, happy birthday, chicken pox, happy birthday. And in come this lady who was hammered, hammered out of her mind. And it's not only because of alcohol, but because of water from the tar sands. This woman was really <laughs> hammered. And she says to me, ah, rah, 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 rah. which I understood perfectly for some reason. Ah, rah, 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 I answered too. And then she says to me, do you have any? I want to buy some. You know, like, I, I, I get mad when they think that I have cocaine because I am a comedian. I hate that. <laughs> I hate it. And besides, Latinos did not invent cocaine. Cocaine has been around forever. Like in the 1920s, it was a legal ingredient of Coca-Cola, yes. That's why those old people made sense, you know. <laughs> when they said things like, at your age, I would walk 17 miles to school. <laughs> they were cockheads. <laughs> the school was just around the corner, but they took the long way. <laughs> that is why the 1920s are known as the Roaring Twenties. And the 1930s are known as the Great Depression. They took the cocaine out of the Coca-Cola, but of course they were depressed. I remember, remember. Oh, I was teasing you.